Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this photo on Facebook and they're disappointed because the inside, well, they want to figure out how to get the inside to stay. Well, I have a couple of questions. This thing is pretty big. It's it's in millimeters, but if you always check and you go to inches, you can click on it. It's, it's uh, almost 12 inches. So it's quite large. I would not cut these letters out. I would engrave this and then cut out your elements and you kind of got the uh, a show off factor because unless you back this up with wood, this is going to be hard to read when it's gone. Now if you're going to back it up with wood and I'm doing a clock right now with this almost the same thing where the middle parts fall out, but I'm going to glue them back in there and paint fill the, the letters and then stick the letters back in there. Um, that's very easily done and that would be kind of a cool thing to do on this since it is since it is quite large. But the easiest fix would just be not to engrave them and that particular text does not have an outline. It shows there. I don't know what this garbage is. Um, because normally when you don't have a fill, so there's your outline, and evidently there might be something there. Let's do a little test. Let's uh, let's bring in a yellow box and put it to the back of the page. See, there's nothing there. Uh, so I would just engrave that. But if you're dead set on uh, cutting them out, you know, unless you're going to back it up with wood, there's nothing. There's nothing to support this, unless you do a stencil type font like this is. And I would actually, to me, I'd cut this out and engrave that, and maybe redo that font where it's just a standard font. But if you're dead set on doing that and you're not going to back it up with wood, uh, you're just going to have to make a stencil font of that, and just. For grins, I like everything in hairlines, in red hairlines, so you know that they're, they're cut. Even though these are hairlines, if you start identifying your hairlines in red, then you will be a lot better off. And also, you know, uh, I always set my nudge factor on zero, zero, and there's a lot of reasons why. And I've got several videos on that. But anyway, if you don't want these to fall out, You've got to make a stencil type font for it. And it's very easily done. You've got uh, three areas that, that areas that are going to fall out. Well, you're going to have four. So you're going to have four areas that are going to fall out. So if you just kind of keep that in mind. There's a lot of ways to do that. Uh, maybe to make it look cool, you could just draw a rectangle. about that thick and make sure it's a hairline and I'm going to make it in red. Well, you know what? We're going to leave it in black just so you can kind of see it. And I'm going to put it like right there. And let's see how your nudge distance is low. That's good. I'm going to use that same exact size. I'm going to control D and I'm going to put it there. Now, it might be a little bit too big. See, there's one thing wrong with using the control D. If we would just hit the plus sign, that would go away. This is a little bit thick for that O. So maybe you could make the O a little bit thicker. I'm going to just hit the plus sign. And also, the center of that, center of that S is going to fall out. Now, I don't think this is going to look that good. But we're going to, we're almost through. We need to make one more hitting plus on the keyboard. And for this one, we're going to maybe go up. And then what you have to do is just basically, uh, there's a couple ways you can do it. Grab that. Hold down the shift key. Grab the, grab the box first and then grab the text. And then try to weld it. That didn't work. So the, your best scenario always in a, is just to use the virtual segment delete key. 
just delete that line, that line, and that line. Delete that line. I got lucky and deleted the right line. Now, there's a couple other steps that I would do to make this kind of like perfect. So just delete the center line. And when they're little like that, you've got to kind of, whoop, I did the wrong one. That's one thing good about Corel, you could back up. Then we'll do one more. Now, I don't, this looks pretty cool. It's not too bad. But what I would do, and I'm sorry that I'm not familiar with millimeters, but since this thing is 300 millimeters big, we're going to make this, or 1300, I'm going to make it 1400 millimeters, my nudge distance. I'm going to take my smart fill tool, and on this particular case, I'm going to specify no fill, but I'm going to specify a hairline, and we'll go ahead and leave it black. So then I'm going to use my nudge factor, and I'm going to Wow, I must have typed in a wrong number. Let's back up here. No, it's 300. I should have made it 400. 400 millimeters. Take your smart fill tool and just fill in. I would go ahead and do every letter. And I'm just nudging them over. And we need that comma. What the smart field does, and we wouldn't have to do the comma, but what the smart field is doing is, is creating a, a perfect box where our new um, text is now going to be solid, is going to cut solid. So there you have it. And then I would take these letters away. And there's actually some garbage or trash there. Oh, it's my little lines. See, it's my little lines I drew. And you can't just grab that because of the fact that you're going to grab the, your star. So you could actually do a couple of things. Put your star in the background, lock your star, or just do this right here. And then because our nudge distance hasn't changed, I'm going to change this to red. And then I'm just going to nudge it back. That way your letters will not fall out. And this will be what they kind of look like. Now, it's still going to be hard to read. Oh, I forgot I set my nuts or my smart fill on a hairline. I want to go no outline and specify black. So now that's what it's going to look like. Doesn't look too bad. But it's still going to be, to me, it's going to be hard to read. Unless you back it up with a color. And if you didn't back it up with a color, you didn't have to do this. You could save those pieces and actually, uh, well, I'm not going to say back it up with a color. Actually take these pieces out and paint them. And then put them right back in. It would add a lot of flair. I don't know how important this is to you or who you're making this for. And also remember to sand your work and get all this burn mark out of there. Anyway, I hope that answered the question and thank you for watching.